A few weeks ago, Curtis's studio was filled to the ceiling with modular synthesizers and BBC micros. He explains why. It's always reassuring to get some kind of feedback from our readers, so we were delighted to hear from Andrew Jeffers when he wrote to tell us that he had developed a hardware software package for his BBC Micro that was capable of controlling our October 83 syndrome project. Further investigations revealed that Andrew's interface could in fact control up to six independent channels of sound, with the software offering basically all the features you'd expect to find on a sophisticated drum machine or sequencer. It seemed a shame to pass up the potential of a package like this, so we arranged to link it up to a selection of analog synth modules from British company Digisound, the only independent UK manufacturer of modular systems. Everything you're hearing was achieved on the Digisound setup controlled from Andrew's interface. This is Push the Button. Modular synths are currently unfashionable, but as we just heard, they can still create interest in music. And remember, Andrew's programme for the Beeb is on this tape at the end of side two.